Oh, yeah. It's gonna have to this work. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, Alright, let's this. move that way. Move this way. Move that way. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh this is crazy, isn't it? This is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> right. All cross legged. Oh, yes. Are we allowed to swear on right, this podcast? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, only in Latvia, man. Only in Latvia. Stop, yeah! He had his beers yesterday, we were driving back from the beach. Wait, and he cut. sang like five minutes <sighs> of a fucking uh, Latvian folk song. Oh yeah, what was that about? Oh, oh this is a Latvian war oh, song. Oh, he had the beer off yeah. the session. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was a great one. How was last night? <sighs> oh, last night was fun. <laughs> uh, but I Do felt. Do you think last night affected your performance today? <laughs> <laughs> I I think it could have honestly, but I I I had I should have had like a couple before I went into water. I mean that would have really affected my performance today. What better? Yeah. Okay. Because I would have been like less scared, I guess. Did you? I was. Yeah. I was pissing my wetsuit honestly. <laughs> Regarding jumping. That might be a question we ask. I ask everyone. Do you think like? Beers or drugs would affect your sailing performance well, straight, positively or negatively? Uh, strictly speaking, as an athlete, I can't uh, endorse any performance enhancing steroids. Um, speaking as a useless alcoholic with a skinhead, I'd say that windsurfing with like two beers in you or a hangover, it's like so much better than doing it sober. Yeah. Because it just takes the edge off a little bit. It's the same as like. Yeah, it's stressful sometimes. You know, like. I wouldn't exactly condone it, but I reckon if you're going to a job interview, crack a pint beforehand, you could probably like you might perform a little bit better. But if you're cracking yeah. like three or four like him and swaying in the doors, then maybe yeah, yeah well, maybe one or two. I I wouldn't condone it as well. Like I mean, it's not a good thing to do. If it's just <laughs> no, but if it's just about the fun, you know, then it's a bit different story. But I guess not very proper. Right, I'm gonna stop this chat because I haven't really said what it's about. But basically, I'm gonna try and do dailies like quick little podcasts every day because i can't be asked to do videos every day because it's it won't happen so you're the first guests um you're tyree would you call yourself a local i would uh, no i wouldn't actually call myself a local because i don't live here and i feel like especially in a small community being a local is like a different thing it's like do, going through all the winters and stuff like that so i'm not a local but i'm pretty attached to the place so for for the viewers what is your name and where, where you actually live? Um, Ray Somerville. I'm from Glasgow. Um, I spend my summers working here. I've been coming here my whole life, but I'm not local. And do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yes, my name is Walter Svidnix. And yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah, that's mental. <laughs> How do you say the second bit? Vidanix. Vidanix. V- yeah. not, w- not with an X. Vidanix. Valti V. Yeah, yeah, that will do. Yeah. And I'm from Latvia, so all the way. For those who know, it's ju- just right across the Baltic Sea from Sweden. Yeah, small place. Is it colder here or Latvia? No, Winter. back home. I would say back home. Like the water is colder, definitely. Like the air temperature is about the same, but because today it was pretty cold, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it like? Eight degrees, something, something like but that. with wind chill. God knows what it was. It was. I think it was wind chill because I. I wouldn't. I didn't feel like I needed gloves, no. and that's usually I need gloves when it's below it's ten. The air was really cold, but like the water was really like because the, the water because we're in fun. the Gulf Stream, the yeah. water's the warmest it gets at this time of year. Because I was really cold in my heat because I've been stood about on the beach for ages like an idiot, and uh, when I went out, uh, I like actually just jumped into the water on a like going around a tap, just jumped in like shoot my hands in the water for a bit and actually warmed myself up. Yep. So water was definitely warm in the air. Yeah, it was. Sure. The water was warm actually. Yeah. But yeah, I think that might have been my. I want to say that was my coldest heat in Tyree ever done. I think I'd, I'd back that, yeah. Yeah, it was the really coldest cold wave classic so far. So I can remember. Yeah, to to paint a little picture, today was <laughs> well, today was day one of the of the Tyree classic, and we had northerly winds, so that's pretty much the coldest winds, right? Yeah, when it comes from much, the north. Yeah, yeah. It was chilly. Yeah. It was chilly. I'd, like at the start of my heat, the first five minutes, I couldn't feel my hands at all. And then the adrenaline kicks in a little bit. Yeah, it got it's better. Warmer, yeah, but yeah. at the start it was super chilly. Yeah. So today was like registration day, which we did at like twelve. Yeah. Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And well, basically there was a little bit of a cock up with the um, ferries. Yeah. It wasn't there. Do you know the actual story? Because I'm I, still I a bit confused. I don't know the actual story. Um, I haven't a clue. I know that Cal might put on another boat. And the Wave Classic didn't know about it, that was all. But I don't know anything that 
I don't know what the actual script was. I have no idea. Yeah. So there was basic. Normally, there's one boat which is that gets here around ten, doesn't it? Yes. Um, which would have meant everyone would have been here. And we would have had a like proper or well, normal competition, let's say. Um, and then they split them up into two boats, right? Yeah. So some people were stuck on the later boat and they couldn't compete today. So in the end, we did only how many heats did we do? Not like, that many. I think five or six yeah. real heats. Yeah, five yeah, or yeah. six heats. We yeah. basically did all the people that were actually here. We did heats. Yeah. And then we did um, the heats that they were in, though. We didn't do heats without people who exactly. were here. We just did the ones that we could get through, and then we had to stop before. Yeah. We you know, would you yeah do you, would you have wanted to continue competing today? Weirdly Do enough, whole single weirdly enough, yes, because I feel like it was so freaking windy that it was like a leveler. Because normally I'm pretty stuffed because I've not got two jumps consistently. Yeah. So and today it was like a miracle if you're making like one. Like Bubble was pretty stoked on getting his forwards and his backies in and I feel like it, I could have gotten lucky enough and I was getting good wave riding scores as well so if because I've got bubble in my next heat and I feel like step it up I could have gotten a bit lucky yeah. getting through him on a day like today whereas if it was just like normal windy starboard tack not anything insane I wouldn't really have much of a chance against him so you backed like. yourself today to do I, well. yeah. I, I wouldn't back yourself today I just would have said maybe could have gotten more lucky. Could have got a lucky break today. Yeah. That I couldn't have gotten another day. I would say uh-huh. the same that I would like, like, even though I lost in my first heat, yeah. I think... You were in the, like, the first round. I you? was in the first against Julius. Yeah. yeah. I was in the very first. So, you two were, what's it called? Seated. Seated. Yeah. yeah. And I was in the first one. And even, even though I lost, I felt like it would be nice if we would ran the whole, like, single Elam. Because yeah. then it would, every everybody would win so we went surfing in the same conditions, you know. It's just... Yeah, yeah it's a bit weird, but... Here's what happens. Got to deal with it. Um, but, yeah, we had... Well, we're at the maze, which is... It's it's a nice beach, but it's just anno- <laughs> really annoying, isn't it, to get to. It's the only beach on the island where you've got to kind of park up and walk about... How far would you say it is? It's about a half mile walk. I yeah. Think, it's, a good, it's a good walk, yeah. especially to where you want to sail, so... Um, luckily we got some things in the trailer to take it up but it's a long walk but then when we were there it was what were the sets like head high sets a bit yeah. bigger right, I know you would say it was yeah. mast high, mast high. <laughs> <laughs> but no it wasn't it wasn't massive but it was absolutely honking yeah. But it the was live stream windy. display there it was 10 feet yeah, exactly. <laughs> it wasn't 10 feet but there were a couple like I would say there were a couple that were overhead I was yeah. like bottom turn you kind of looking up well that's alright but they were big like the big soft lips, because even when you would get smacked and you get the timing wrong, you just get washed. A yeah, bit. it wasn't like Grabbing a ground flow, was nah. it? It was it very was choppy. Just, yeah. Um, but yeah, what? Yeah, I don't know. I was on three o. You were on three point one five. I was on a three three. Yeah. Full power. Yeah. <laughs> three three That's full power. That's my smallest. I I didn't like. How much do you weigh? I weigh seventy. Kilos. Yeah. You're seventy. Seventy two. Oh, we're pretty we're pretty much all seventy, but yeah. Yeah, but I was in a sixty-eight liter board, but yeah. but like the three That's three was. Because I was in a seventy-four. Yeah. And a three one, and you yeah. were on a sixty-eight and a three yeah, three. About the same, but the three three was just way overpowered. But with the three zero, I don't think I would have done much better, because then the just the three zero gets like, because it's so small. It's just so fast and jiggly all the time that yeah. the wave riding would be even when worse. It, when, when you don't have the wind, it's just yeah, lose it's just it all, don't you? lose all your power and all your speed. So yeah, I think yeah, I wouldn't have gone with a three O either. Yeah. yeah, I was quite comfortable on three O. Yeah, like just comfortable. Yeah, it wasn't I, hectic. Yeah. I really liked my three one. Like it, yeah. it felt good like the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. It's like. I used 3-1 so little mm. that it's my 3-1 from like three years ago and I just kept it because I thought there's no point in ordering a new 3-1 because I'm just not going to justify using it. Sure. And it's just like, I don't know, you get really used to a sale and it, I've like got the rigging, kind of feels like I've got it perfect, so I'm just kind of used to it. Yeah. And I mean, I was pretty, I was pretty overpowered. Like, I was really overpowered. <laughs> but Yeah, there's but quite a good crash rigging. of your forward. There is quite a good crash of my forward. Um, but, yeah, you'll yeah, probably that, see it on somewhere. That yeah. I'm not going to put it in because yeah, I'm not going to edit it. But you can probably see it on the live stream yeah. or photos. <laughs> I think it'll be on just well, about every... On Instagram, it'll be on my Instagram, yeah. It's on the Wave Classic Instagram. Um, um, so that, that's a 
That is a classic one, I have to say. That's good. Like little running man in the air. Yeah. Straight into a dive. Yeah, that was good, that. That was, that was the <laughs> highlight of the day, I yeah. think, for me. Um, but yeah, it was... Because it, I, I quite like it having... When it's not that wavy, you can actually go on a smaller cell, you know? Yeah. Like in Poser, I would say it's maybe similar wind strength. Yeah. But because it's onshore, you, you almost need a bigger cell. But today it was yeah. like, you know, you could have got away with quite a small sail and For still sure. felt, felt powered up, so... And my whole thing is, if you're when it's wind like properly windy, if you're comfortable, you can almost jump higher, can't you? Yeah, for sure. Because when you're yeah. stacked, like maybe you're going faster, but you just haven't got the control. Yeah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. I actually like that. I was a bit overpowered today on the three three because, well, I'm a port tax sailor, and like you, well, you're good on both tacks, but I'm like a port tax sailor mainly. And oi oi. Uh oh. A new guest has arrived. Oh, Oh, come say hello. oh, you're gonna be on another one. So. I'm gonna be on another one, but I just wanted to Actually, put my face in. How long, we, how long we've gone for? Too long, apparently. Um, <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so as I was saying, I like that on starboard tack, I'm overpowered because then I can save some of my turns. Because yes. if I'm on starboard tack, which I'm not really comfortable with, and it's like you know not quite enough. And you feel like I do the turns and I just sometimes float behind the wave. But when I'm like full powered, like in Belle uh yeah. like the first day that I arrived, I was overpowered on 3.7. You weren't, you weren't I, here. No, yeah, here, yeah. But I know. that was on my first day on Tyree. I was overpowered on the 3.7 in the evening. I was just getting these sick turns So on starboard tack, actually. Yeah. yeah, but it's bad for jumping. But I'm not a good starboard tack jumper either. So. Mm. I, I back that. Like, I think in general, being... Like, especially in heat sailing. Like, I mean, I feel like all we've done, like, we're accumulating more experience in heats over the years. But a lot of what my, like, an existing base of heat knowledge was, was stuff that I just soaked up from, like, Adam Lewis and, like, all the old guys, like, old, well, not old guys, <laughs> old air guys. Uh, sorry, Adam. Um, he's not going to be watching this. Probably not. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, always want to sail overpowered in a heat, like, on the verge of overpowered, slightly bigger board, because, yeah. like, the moment you're downwind in the heat and you want to be right back upwind where the waves are breaking or get yourself for a jump and run, you want to be there like that. I can't mm. click my fingers. Um, and I just think being overpowered in it, like not massively, but always a more than you would be free sailing in a heat mm. just makes so much of a difference. Yeah. I feel like. I definitely say like in the lighter stuff, you know, those days like where I'd normally take four or five free sailing, I'd take five in the heat or, yeah, or something sure. like that. But when it's windy and I've got enough power, <laughs> I just take what I'm comfortable with because yeah. at the end of the day that's yeah. more important for me yeah. than you're always going to have enough wind to get out wind today yeah. and yeah, like yeah, everyone yeah. doesn't matter yeah you're you know, not like going to get stuck in current today yeah, or anything for so. sure um, who any like you did you watch a few of the heats guys yeah. any s massive standouts well the problem is you're just like feeding me here because um, we watched the year the last heat yes, and he did on. he did do <laughs> to back him he did a really sick stalled forward he did some good wave rides and then he had a squeaky clean push loop but I will say best turns us all day James Cox was he? he was, was I don't know ripping? did you see his heat I didn't uh, really know he just had like everyone just looked so overpowered wave riding like even you like looked like you were on the edge mm, at times yeah. he was just like I mean he's got a bit of weight on him he's just doing these massive like smooth silky turns like Tons of flow, yeah. um, and it's kind of nice to see like that old dog just like yeah. Get going. He's pretty good like, though. I, like I would say, if if it would have been a full contest today, he he was he's, he's a yeah. shout out for winning, isn't he? For sure. Yeah, he's probably quite pissed that he's probably looking yeah, yeah, yeah. like Port Tack the rest of the week, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, and especially I feel oh, like really? yeah. oh, good for me. <laughs> <laughs> good for me. I would say that I liked. Your way riding. Oh, Thanks, buddy. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, it's getting <laughs> a bit weird. No, no, <laughs> not really. But uh, then I just packed up my kit, and uh, and there was a guy who hauled me back to the car park. Yeah. And we we're just in the car, and we pulled up to the beach to hatch the trailer on. Mm -hmm. And Lucas, you did right in front of us, you did the ones told forward. Yeah. It was just, it was huge. It was like for that day, well, it wasn't like Pozo, you know, mm. all that huge, but. Like yeah. for compared to the other guys, it was it was big. So I'd yeah. say in jumps, yeah, yeah. this guy did the Thank best. Thank you, dude. Yeah. 
It was tricky though, because I like I found it was the waves were breaking quite close to the beach. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you had yeah. to like really get your speed really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so short together. The you the know the period, period was also yeah. So it's quite yeah. hard to get a good run up. So yeah. it, it definitely took me like a good few runs just to find a ramp. I don't know about yeah. you guys, but no, I, I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, lost all your speed going over the over the white water. You know, yeah. I was couldn't get enough. So when you're when you finally got the power, you just and the sail was fully powered up for a jump. There was just not <coughs> enough speed to yeah. to do one actually because it's yeah. just so short it's period short together. Yeah. Well, so this is your first time here. Entire year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. how how do you think think of it so far? I actually love it. Yeah. I actually love it because I there is some aspect to cold water windsurfing that I really love. I always feel like even though it's a bad session, like I don't do anything good. Yeah. It's always nice to like the feeling that it's cold and you're So you like Tori island. because it's cold. Yeah, I actually <laughs> no, no, don't, don't listen no, to I, him. I, Scottish I, tourist board. No. <laughs> I know I like Tyree because it's just it's a beautiful island. It has crystal clear water, which yeah. is like still I cannot wrap it around my head like in Ireland as well. It was just crystal clear blue water yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. cold. Like I cannot wrap yeah. that around my head. It feels like it should be the Maldives or the yeah. So I just yeah, the scenery and the fact that you can go to any beach like any day and choose mm. the spot where you For want me, to For me that's surf. like the unique factor here yeah. where we've had days or like events in the past where we'd run like one one beach in the morning and it'd be like port tack cross on or something and then we go in the afternoon we starboard tack cross off and it's like there's not many places yeah. that you can do that you know i mean you've got island and, and places like that where you can move about but not in a yeah. space of 15 minutes drive where you can just yeah. go to the next beach so. i mean yeah like big up the boys organizing it like it's so it's such a mobile event like yeah, so it's good because like willie who runs it he's got a fully mobile like surf school so it's just like the same equipment set up he's just recycling into the event yeah. so he's got the whole program sorted for that um but now it's nice because i like i feel like tyree's a great like leveler like you go to rossi or whatever and it's like, okay like fills the guy to beat you know and he still is like one of the guys to beat in tyree but like you can get so many different conditions and like i know realistically there's like a day a set of conditions in tyree that if we had that for heat I'd back myself to do really, really well. But then other days, like, Port Tack, Onshore at the Maze, I'm like, I'm just another number. Like, there's no, like, mm. and that's what's good about it. You never know what you're going to get. So it really does bring out, the guys who win a Tyree event are usually people who are really, really consistent in everything, you know. Especially yeah. people who won, like, multiple as well. Yeah, for sure. Like, years. you can get lucky and, like, win one event you know one time but then if you've got a couple swords to your name that says a lot about your yeah, yeah. overall skills as a windsurfer yeah. uh for sure yeah. that's good i was actually expecting it to be like a smaller event i don't know if it's because of the 40th like anniversary but when i came here and we had the registration and it's yeah. just seeing all these people and all the film crews and everything yeah. just to get it i like cameras isn't there? Yeah, yeah i was yeah. like expecting it to be like uh when like in Latvian, we have this calling for like sat smatch, which is like your local, like very small group of people, you know, yeah. that come here very. But mm. it just like looks like a big event, even yeah. though there's not many internationals. Yeah. It just feels like it's you know, it's very hyped up, and that which yeah. is nice to see. Yeah. You I, wouldn't expect it. I have a feeling if it was if the dates didn't clash with Maui so much, we'd get a lot more people yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's quite good though, because I think. Yeah. Like, it's cool when the international guys come and it always gives everyone a bit of a boost. But I feel like there is a definite air of maybe exasperation from, like, guys like yourself. The top. Yeah. Well, you got the win last year over international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was good over my mate, Miguel. To see. But, like, yeah. normally what happens is an international comes and they're really, really good and they're maybe not quite up there in the world tour and Tyree's, like, a confidence event for them and they come, they take it out they win and then credit to them they don't come back and keep winning because that's just bad yeah, form that <laughs> um but like they come they win and like it's really cool and all but it definitely sucks a little bit when like you've been plugging away and you know then just another big name comes because it is a national event it isn't a world tour you know five oh, star. well yeah but it's not you know a five now, yeah. star world tour event mm -hmm. with you know brozzy and philip 
duking it out in round three. You know, yeah, like, you could know. go to like some German one and take everyone out. Yeah. Is not, Tyre, no one's stopping you. Is Tyree a three star event or I mean, it's two star? No, it's three star. Three star. Three stars. Three stars. Three stars. No, yeah, three, three stars. Three star. That's pretty cool. It wouldn't yeah. be two star, would it? I don't know. I've not for a, for everything that goes around this event. Yeah. It, yeah. But that is the thing. Like the media is a big thing. Like the people here, the amount of people make it feel like a decent event. But the amount of cameras and like the infrastructure of the event, like the judging jackets, the trailers, yeah, yeah. like everything, and like the fact that you come off the water and you're getting interviewed by like not you feel one, like an actual professional. You don't do you? right. You know, <laughs> you're like, oh, this is like where it's at this is what it feels like yeah and you kind of it makes you feel like you're part of a big event and you're an athlete and whatever and like you know next week you're going back to your student house yeah you know it's like oh lads (laughs) should we pop down to the pub for a bit yeah well I remember when I was in Tyree yeah big name I was nah mate that's (laughs) true I was actually intimidated when I saw all the judges wearing you know the same jackets with the BWA they're ready ready to judge me they're ready to judge me yeah it's a great event <laughs> nah, but it, it, thank you. <laughs> nah, but it's a great event. I'm so happy to be here. Talk, honestly, talking about judges, Duncan Coombs is here, isn't he? Yeah. Ooh. But I don't even realise he's not. He's not judging. Yeah. Do you know anything about it? Um, we've got theories. Yeah. We've got theories. Um, do I go into the theories? Yeah. Could do. Yeah. Make it yeah. Quick. quick theory. Uh, got credit Finn Mellon for this one. The theory is. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There he is. Go on, come here quickly. Yeah, Finn, come here, come here. Tell us why Duncan's here. Why is Duncan? Yeah. Oh, careful. For those who don't know Duncan, well, you probably do if you're watching, but um, he was the ex PWA head judge, so he's a big, big name, isn't he? So, what's the question? Why is Duncan here? (coughs) Um, I think Duncan's here to give a very good, uh, to give a very good base judging level of what should be scoring, what is good wave riding, what's good jumping. And the difference, because the difference between very good, good, and bad, isn't very much, yeah. especially in the higher level fleets. That level gets tighter and tighter, yeah. but the difference to go that much more is difficult and should be rewarded. So therefore, a good judge is very important, I think. So he's here for like moral support, kind of thing. <laughs> Seems it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems it. Well, I don't think that's like to diss any of the judges that nah, we've got because top. we've got Adrian he's done it for a couple of years yeah, yeah. Luke Raystrick who's top sailing he's seen a lot of good sailing and stuff like that yeah. I don't know who is it who's the third sure. one is, is it Robin I'm not sure he's Robin. done loads of BW events so you know yeah. we're in a good good yeah. spot I think so having Duncan there just to oversee yeah. things yeah. So yeah. And I can just see everyone learning if if that is what it it's you know it's like if you're in the presence of someone who's very good at something, you're going yeah. to bound to learn. It's, it's and a bit like all of us who are supposedly like pretty solid sailors and then Mark Perry turns up at the Wave Classic and stomps everybody Scores and we're like, oh, doesn't doesn't knock, you know, Phil Hork's level or whatever, but mm. Mark's doing doubles over everyone. You're like, oh, that makes me want to sail a little bit better. And I think yeah. even Phil would say he got pushed by Mark in a good way. And I reckon yeah. it's probably the same if you're a judge and you've got the man who's scored like every world title heat for like 15 years yeah, yeah. or breathing over your shoulder you're probably gonna like <laughs> i don't know yeah he's a big dog a i'm happy the duncan's here he complimented me on my back loops yeah, yeah he did the co- bit of commentating on the live stream if you saw no, that but he did it when we were windsurfing in belleville and yeah, on portag yeah, yeah. day yeah he came up to me and he said oh he was like oh you've got six style it's like really vertical nice turns and he's like Wave selection, shite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rory's known for a bit of an ankle uh, ripper. An ankle yeah, ankle it's not bite. the size that matters, it's what you do with it that counts. Get that, thing yeah. bending, yeah. Get that knee bending in. Yeah, exactly. You've got to bend the knee in the top turn, mate. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to end that there. But, um, yeah, it was good. I'll try and just get these out every day, I think. Yeah. Um, any closing words? What do you think about the whole week? Is it going to be we're gonna uh, get scoring? Yeah, epic, epic. I think I think it'll be. I think we're, I'm calling it epic. One epic. It's not going to get to double epic, epic but okay. it's going to get single epic. I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going to be? Not the magazine, uh, please. I, I haven't a clue actually. I've not really looked at the forecast beyond tomorrow just okay. to figure out if I get a lion. Really, that's about it. Cool. But, yeah. Double elimination for you. You're backing Double yourself. Room. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna psych come back. Up. I'm gonna psych myself up as though I wasn't ready for a competition today. Like honestly, but I always come back into double elim so. Fingers crossed. Ah, it's going to be good. Nice. Fun event. All right. All right. We're out. Nice. Done it. Peace out.
Alright. Solid. Oh. Don't get that fart out, it's been waiting for 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, you should have.